Hello! Again, uh, this is um, Sir Mides and I'm going to do a video regarding um, na doon sa tanong ng aking uh, dating kasamahan na magtitake ng kanyang board exam. And um, I find it really uh, weird because ang common practice ngayon is uh, gumagawa na tayo ng mga Excel program regarding sa pagkakalculate ng double interpolation. But sabi niya, um, hindi raw niya kaharap yung kanyang computer every time daw na magkakalculate siya ng double interpolation. So, pag mano-mano daw, mabagal. And uh, using a calculator, it's uh, very handy kasi sinusuot niya lang daw sa bulsa niya. But anyways, I'm going to teach this um, to share sa bawat isa regarding how to calculate double interpolation via scientific calculator. I have um, made some random numbers. Uh, for example, dito sa ating uh, y-axis, it's uh, 5 and 6. And then, uh, x-axis and then y-axis natin is 3.2 and 3.4. You can imagine, for example, ito, draft. And then, ito ang mga um, trim niya or list or or heel or uh, tawag dito. Uh, kung ano man. Or maaaring um, 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 sounding and then yung kanyang um, tawag dito, uh, trim or kahit ano. But this is just a random number. We are going to find out the value no, in between no, 5.7 and 3.25. So, makikita ninyo na yung 5.7, dito siya sa gitna. 5.7. And then yung 3.25, dito naman sa gitna. So, ang mapaplot natin is banda rito. Yung value. Kailangan nating hanapin dyan. Okay? So, what calculator I'm using? I'm using this um, very handy uh, Casio FX95MS. Um, bakit ito ang gamit na calculator ko sa pag-demo and then what I'm using on board? Kasi ito yung pinaka-typical na calculator na, may, na kaya ng bulsa and then maraming mga pirated like Carse or Casin or kahit CDR King meron to, meron ganito. But I'm not promoting those brands. I'm just using this very handy calculator that I'm that I really like. Okay? So, kailangan nating malaman again yung value nung pagitan ng dalawang to dito sa point na to. So, I have prepared um, this um, illustration. As you can see, um, transfer ko yung table natin dito. I'm just going to draw a line here. Yan. And then, 5.7 and 3.25. So, for the sake of illustration, I made some boxes. And then, uh, sa double interpolation kasi, it's called double interpolation, pero you're going to do interpolation three times. Bakit? Kasi una, in interpolate mo muna dito, yung value neto, and then yung value neto, and then yung pinaka-value ng gitna natin. So, um, tawag dito, um, I don't know why it's called uh, double interpolation while you're going to do three interpolation, but I don't really care to explain that anymore. So, ito yung pinakamabilis. We're going to use this. Hindi na tayo magmamano-mano. Unlike my previous um, tutorial or yung uh, video demonstration na ginawa ko noong nakaraan. But anyway, let's, let's start. So, pag naikuha mo na yung value, na isulat mo na siya sa isang papel or meron ka ng guide at mabilis ka na, um, you are going to on the calculator. And um, ang feature na kailangan natin sa calculator, yung meron siyang linear regression. So, ano yun? Pag pumunta ka sa mode, meron kang 3, yung reg, regression, and then yung linear, 1. So, makikita nyo, magkakaroon na siya ng symbol dito or yung, ng, yung nakasulat na reg. So, regression na siya. Pwede na tayo mag-input ng ating um, values, uh, datas, para lumabas yung ating hinahanap. So, ito muna, uunahin natin. First interpolation natin, x-axis, y-axis, so 5.7 siya. So, let's start. So, pag uh, ano nyan, kailangan natin 5 and then 3.2. Ito, 3106. So, let us input here yung ating um, value, yung 5, and then comma, and then 3106.1. So, makikita nyo, may comma siya dyan, and then memory plus. So, na-input siya. So, ito yung ating first coordinate, and then second is yung 6, and then comma, and then, 3103.9. So, memory plus natin. So, meron ka ng pangalawa ngayon. So, pag hahanapin natin yung value ng 5.7 dito, yung missing, is that kailangan natin input siya. 5.7, shift, 
And then, makikita nyo ito yung SVAR. Hanapin nyo yung, yung SVAR. Yan. And then, pinutin nyo siya. SVAR. And then, hanapin natin yung Y. Typical, nasa dulo yun eh. So, makikita nyo Y. So, you have to press 2. And makikita nyo, 5.7 Y. And then, equals. So, meron ko ng value ngayon dito. Pwede mo i-transfer to. So, um, 3, 1. 0, 4 point. Let's just round it off to 6. Okay? Ito naman, susunod. So, all clear natin. Just, para ma-clear to, in-input natin dito, you have to clear it up. Paano yon? Shift, and then CLR. So, SCL, or stat, stat, uh, stat clear siya. So, 1. And then, stat clear, question mark yan. Equals, yes. Just to be sure, pangalawang beses pa. Anyways, Ipasok na natin tong value na ito. Napasok natin niya. So, ito naman ang bagong value natin. So, ating y. So, 5 and then, kama and then 3147.4. So, memory plus. Yes, naipasok na natin. And then, ito naman, 6. And then, kama And then, 3145.4. And then, memory plus. So, nakuha na natin tong points na mga ito. Hanapin natin yung kitna. Which is 5.7. So, 5.7. Shift. And then, SVAR again. Hanapin natin yung Y. And then, 2. 5.7 Y. Equals. So, meron kang 3146. 3146. So, meron ka na ngayong 3146 dyan. Ano na masusunod na gagawin natin dyan? So, hanapin natin yung kitna. Paano na natin mahanap yung gitna dito? Inputting this. So, kapag i-rotate mo siya, ito na yung, yung x-axis. And then, meron ka dito y. Ito yung ating y-axis ngayon. So, ito na ang hanapin natin. So, paano yon? Let us clear again our calculator. And then, i-input na natin siya. 3.2 and then 3104.6. So, 3.2, kama, 3104.6 and then memory in and then 3.4 comma 3146 and then memory in. So, meron ka ng dalawang value. Hanapin mo ngayon 3.25 sa gitna. So, 3.25 shift and then SVAR and then hanapin mo yung Y which is 2 and then equals Meron ka ng sagot ngayon na 3114.95. So, yan ang value ngayon. So, mabilisan lang. Uh, ganyan lang kasimple, ganyan lang kadali. So, yung, in, yung gitna nila dito, ang value pala dyan ay 3114.95. 3114.95. So, ito yung ating pinakasagot. So, kung nag, uh, ano kayo, nag, uh, kailangan nyo gumamit ng calculator and then wala kayong access sa inyong Excel for, uh, formula, you can use this um, calculator, very handy. And then kung sanay na kayo, medyo hindi mo na kailangan to mga boxes, but it's just for the sake ng illustration, nag-drawing ako ng mga boxes. Anyways, uh, thank you very much uh, in yung uh, panonood sa aking uh, video demonstration. Again, this is uh, Sir Mides. And... Uh, Uulitin ko, mas gwapo ako dito kaya hindi ako nagpapakita ng muka. Um, happy New Year sa inyong lahat. Happy 2017. And may this video be productive sa inyo at makatulong sa inyo. Especially doon sa mga aspiring officers and yung mga officers na gusto lang ma-refresh ang kanilang um, pinag-aralan kanilang trabaho. So, again, this is Sir Miguel and uh, I salute you.